Order, honorable members. Order. The controversial financial bill 2023, which is set for third reading this week, continues to take center stage in the political arena as leaders clash with some supporting it, others urging the president to squash it, while others are threatening to go to court to have the financial bill 2023 annulled, citing illegalities in its processing. <laughs> Sio hoja ambayo itatusaidia kwa sababu kile Kenya inahitaji ni viwanda. Kenya haitaji manyumba. Nyumba itakuja baadaye. Busia Senator Okio Mtata has vowed that he won't withdraw his case in court in case the government fails to amend the bill as proposed. Hata wakitoa hizo vitu vingine hiyo hiyo bill bado ni mbaya. Naendelea kuambia rais wa Kenya you are wrong on this. Wananchi wa chini wale wanasema bottom up sasa hiyo wanaenda bottom 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 down. Speaking in Bumula, Bungoma County, ODM Secretary General, who is also Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna, says the MPs who failed to show up during the voting exercise or missed the Thursday session without any apologies will be whipped accordingly. Kuna wengine walitoroka badala ya kuja kupiga kura vile wanaishi wamewatumba wakajificha. Sasa hii wanatuandikia barua, oh nilikuwa kwa daktari, oh sijui nilikuwa wapi. Wewe umechaguliwa kwa sababu ya kazi moja peke yake. On the other hand, Kakamega Deputy Governor Ayub Savula has strongly criticized Azimio MPs who voted in favor of the bill saying they let down Kenyans. Ushuru ipunguzwe. Maisha imeenda juu, bei ya maisha iko juu. Hawa wananchi wanaume, wanaumia. Mheshimiwa Bernard Chinali kule bungeni alipiga no. Bei ya maisha isiende juu. Si huyu ni mwanaume ndume huyu. Lakini kuna wajumbe wengine hapa kakamega tunawaangalia na macho mbili. Kama hawezi fanya chenye oparanya yuko mbele na Raila Molo Dinga wanataka election inakuja. During Wednesday's voting, the opposition failed to get enough numbers to defeat the bill after most of the Azimio MPs either boycotted the vote or were locked out of the house after the division bell. <laughs> Elsewhere, the Jubilee Party faction that is led by former Ndaragwa MP Jeremiah Kioni has now threatened to impeach President William Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa should the Kenya Kwanza government continue to overburden Kenyans with taxes, especially in the wake of high cost of living. The party official insisted that they will not back down from seeking to have the government deliver its promises to Kenyans, failure to which they will petition for dethronement of Ruto and Gashagwa, who undertook to accord Kenyans a soft life before they ascended to presidency. Seeing the disparation level among people, this bill is just going to make it worse. The support that was there coming from government, the social protection, the NHIF, all those things seem to be disappearing on the day. And yet... There is nobody within government who is voicing those things. We want to tell you we will not fear you. We will continue to be the voice of the voiceless. We will continue to stand with Wanjiku because you lied to them and now the lies have been exposed. Elsewhere, South Mugirango MP Silvana Sosoro and National Assembly Majority Whip has said that already the Finance Bill 2023 has undergone revision to appease those who are opposing the bill. He said he still remain optimistic that the Finance Bill will sail through during the final votes. You cannot demand services kama hatulipi ushuru ushuru na ni wana sisi tunasema watu walipe ushuru wajitegemee Having sailed through the second reading stage and the amendment stage the bill is now expected to proceed to the third reading this week which is the final voting If the National Assembly approves it it will be forwarded to President William Ruto for assent Busara Naman K24 TV